Can you hear me? Hi, everyone. I'm Chu Chen, and th this is joint work with my vice of Kamalika children. And I'm going to talk about the extended little songs dimension for learning with mistaken abstentions. And here's the traditional online learning model where in each round, example arrive one by one, and the data may not be ID and may be adversarial. And for example, for spam filtering, the emails come from one by one. Learner need to predict an email as soon as an example has arrived. And the spammer may adaptively change his strategy. So in standard online learning, it follows the following interaction paradigm. So for e at each time, the adversary chooses an example and shows it to the learner. And the learner predicts a binary label. Now, the adversary reviews the underlying label of this example, and the algorithm's performance metric is the number of mistakes made cumulatively. So we make the assumption that the adversary is realizable by, we mean that given hypothesis class, there is some classifier in this hypothesis class that agrees with all the examples shown. So a smaller hypothesis class will mean that the adversary is more constrained. In this talk, we'll be focusing on online learning with abstention. And this is initially studied by two papers in 2009-2010, and where in this setting, the learner is allowed to abstain, and we want to trade off between the mistake and abstentions. So here is the formal model. The only difference is that the learner is not only allowed to predict the binary label, but also predict or no. And the performance now is measured by two things. One is the number of abstentions made over time, and the other one is the number of mistakes made. By mistake, I mean I make a prediction and I do not abstain. And I, I make a mistake also. And we also assume realizability, and our goal is to minimize the number of abstentions subject to the number of mistakes abounded. So there has been some previous work in 2009. Lee et al. considers an enumeration algorithm that has at most, the size of the hypothesis class minus one mistakes if no mistakes are, uh, no, sorry, abstentions if no mistakes are allowed. And in the subsequent paper by Saidi et al. in 2010, when k mistakes are allowed, they come up with an algorithm that has sublinear dependency on the size of the hypothesis class where the exponent is one over k plus one. But the drawback is that it only works for finite hypothesis class. And the question is, what is the optimal algorithm in this setting, and what happens when we consider general uh, infinite hypothesis class, and what happens in the non realizable case? So, to think about this problem, let me take a step back to look at the, what happens in traditional online learning, where a portion called mistake tree is considered. So, in this standard online le learning, the mistake tree represents the strategy of the adversary. So, um, a mistake tree is a complete binary tree where its internal node corresponds to classifiers. And uh, its leaf corresponds to, uh, sorry, internal co corresponds to the examples, and the leaf corresponds to classifiers. And each leaf will be consistent with the path from the root to the leaf. To see that, how does the adversary can use this mistake tree? Consider the interaction between adversary and learner using this tree. So, the adversary first shows the example at the root, which is four, and the learner say makes a prediction plus one. Then the adversary will immediately review the label minus one to force the learner to make a mistake and follow the left um, subtree, downward edge, to get the left subtree, and then recurse on this subtree. Now the adversary shows the example in the two, and the learner, let's say, predicts minus one, the adversary will review the label plus one. So interaction between them will end when, as soon as the leaf is reached. So in this case, no matter what the learner predicts at each round, so long as it's it is deterministic, the adversary is able to force the learner to make two mistakes. So in general, if a hypothesis class has a depth D mistake tree, then there is a strategy of adversary such that any learner makes at least K mistakes over time. So this inspires the notion called Little Stone's dimension, which measures the complexity of this learning problem. And it is defined as the maximum depth of the mistake tree within, the, um, within this hypothesis class. So inspired by this notion, we develop a notion called extended mistake tree that deals with the online learning with abstention setting. So we bring a conceptual tool for analyzing 
uh, such problem. So uh, extended mistake tree represents the adversary as uh, strategy of adversary. Now the difference is that it is no longer a complete binary tree, but it should be a full binary tree. And also for each internal node, it not only, not only has the solid downward solid edges, but it also has the dashed edges corresponds to the um, responses for the adversary if the learner predicts abstention. So in general, how to formulate the difficulty of a mistake tree, so we develop a notion of KD difficult, that is for any root to leave pass that using at most K solid edge will have length at, most, at, at least D. So take an example, so the adversary can, suppose the adversary wants to fool a learner with, if suppose the learner wants to make zero mistake guarantee, then the adversary can first show the example at the roots. Now, because the learner is allowed to make zero mistakes, so the only option is to output don't know. And the adversary will follow the right downwards dash edge to reveal a label of plus one. The interaction goes so on and so forth until a leaf is reached. Now we can see that the adversary now can force the learner to make three abstentions. And in general, if the hypothesis class has a KD difficult extended mistake tree, then there is an adversary such that any learner that guarantees at most K mistakes will have at least D mistakes plus abstentions over time. So using this notion called extended mistake tree, we developed a notion called extended little source dimension which takes two parameters. One is the hypothesis class. The other one is the mistake budget k. So this is defined as the maximum k, such that the hypothesis class has a kd difficult extended mistake tree. And our main result is that if the extended little stone dimension of the hypothesis class with mistake budget is equal to k, then the first part is not uh, is immediately um, follows from the construction of the mistake tree, which is any learner that guarantees that most k-mistakes has at least k-mistakes, deep mistakes plus abstentions. But on the other hand, we construct an algorithm which we call extended standard optimal algorithm, which guarantees at most k-mistakes and has at most deep mistakes plus abstentions. And more generally, we'll consider the non-realizable case where we have a finite hypothesis class and we assume that there is a hypothesis class that makes at most L mistakes over time. In this case, actually, if you set the mistake budget to be less than L, uh, then there's nothing interesting we can do. Actually, the, any learner that guarantees at most L mistake will have an infinite number of abstentions. And this lower bound holds even for a randomized prediction and even for a hypothesis class of size one. So it's pretty strong. And on the other hand, we can use our machinery for developing the extended little source dimension to develop an upper bound, which is um, if we set the mistake budget to be k, which is greater than L, then it, there exists an algorithm that guarantees at most k mistakes, and the number of abstentions is sublinear in the size of the hypothesis class, where the exponent is 1 over k minus 1 L plus 1. So this generalizes the realizable setting where L equal to 0, so you get the recovery old results. Thank you very much.